This is George from iTech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at probably the most anticipated all-in-one liquid cooler we've seen to date, the SwiftTech H220. Over the last 15 years, uh, SwiftTech has been absolutely at the forefront of enthusiast liquid cooling, and this is their first foray into the mainstream market and their first all-in-one liquid cooler. Now there has been some debate as to whether or not this is an all-in-one liquid cooler or is it not. Well, it comes pre-filled out of the box, fully assembled, ready to install, very easy to install, and that by definition is exactly what an all-in-one liquid cooler is. However, it is very, very innovative, very, very versatile. It is the first all-in-one liquid cooler we're seeing that you can actually open the loop and add components. Uh, it's got a pump that is much larger and higher head pressure than any other pump in, a, uh, in an all-in-one liquid cooler we've seen. It can absolutely support another radiator. It can absolutely support putting a couple of video cards on. Not a problem. You can open the loop, add to it, and you can have the H220 grow as your needs grow. It's not a situation where you buy the liquid cooler, your needs grow, and in the garbage it goes. The H220 can be added to, it's flexible, extendable, and can grow with you. So taking a look at the design itself, first 240 millimeter design, uh, radiator, two 120 millimeter SwiftTech fans. The fans themselves are 800, 1800 RPM, PWM controlled, at uh, just under 33 dB top noise uh, level. However, the big news here is the static pressure. Approximately 50% more static pressure than we're used to seeing from even the highest quality fans. That makes a huge difference pushing the air through the radiator itself. Moving on to the radiator, it is not an aluminum radiator, or aluminum fins I should say. It is all brass channels with copper fins. Uh, everything else we've seen has been aluminum fins. Copper fins dissipate heat much quicker than aluminum fins, so better heat dissipation, better cooling potential. Also, moving on, you can see cap right here. There is actually a fill cap on the radiator. So if you're going to open the loop, reservoir, fill cap built right in. You've got two 3 8 inch swivel barbs built right onto the radiator itself with 3 8 inch tubing. It is rubber tubing, typically used in enthusiast liquid cooling. Great barbs, easy to work with. So now if you're going to add on to it, not a problem. You can go right for it. And block itself, as you can see, quite a bit larger than what we're used to seeing. Much higher pressure pump to support another radiator and cooling more units itself. Comes with an Intel kit installed on it for mounting and AMD kit of course is included. Taking a look at the bottom you've got a very very large copper cooling block as you can see polished to a mirror finish. Absolutely beautiful for making absolute great contact. Once again better contact better cooling potential. Really an incredible looking piece from SwiftTech with an incredible amount of design and engineering. Taking a little bit closer look at the pump itself, as you can see, one PWM cable coming off. The pump is 1200 to 3000 RPM. It can be controlled with a fan header on your uh, motherboard or can be direct, uh, connected directly to a 12 volt source and will run at full speed. Uh, the pump can be used in unison with your fans PWM or can uh, act independently, adjusting the flow of the pump independently from the speed of the fans, or as I say, they can work in conjunction. Included with the H220, of course, is the mounting kit and accessories. Mounting kit, very simple kit. As you saw, um, your Intel brackets are already pre-installed onto the pump. Backplate for Intel. You also have AMD kit, which would replace the Intel clips on the pump. Tube of SwiftTech TM2. Longer mounting bolts if you're going to be mounting through the fan into the radiator. And shorter bolts if you're going to be mounting just directly into the radiator. And finally, 8-way PWM splitter. A uh, really unique device if you're going to be using two fans plus the pump and want everything PWM controlled. Uh, if you're going to be using four fans, whatever you're going to be doing, you can actually plug in directly to a power supply, plug into the PWM, 
Power will be drawn from the power supply with the PWM controlling the output on the eight different channels. They'll all act in unison by that PWM control with only channel one reporting back. So if you want your pump reporting back its speed, you'd plug it into channel one. If you want your fans reporting back their speed, you would plug them into channel one. Really a cool little piece. With the H220, SwiftTech has really brought all of their experience and expertise uh, in liquid cooling into the mainstream market. For the first time, we're seeing an all-in-one cooler that uh, can grow with your needs. We're seeing a high head pressure pump that is going to be able to expand uh, into further radiators, cooling other components. We're seeing the first uh, copper fin radiator. Just a phenomenal list of parts that you'd normally expect to see in an enthusiast liquid cooler. So with the H220, SwiftTech has really set a new bar in all-in-one liquid cooling.